Hi everyone, welcome back for another video. This is the first time on my channel I post a lot of things of how to's and do yourself. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe below. And if this video helps you, I would greatly appreciate a like on the video. This will help my video and the page out a lot and will just allow me to continue to create more videos like this in the future. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can post to your Instagram story directly from your computer. At the moment, it is not possible to do through the Instagram website from your computer, so I'm gonna show you this free, easy to use application that you can use. Let's dive right into my computer and I can show you how to use it. Social.com. this is the application I use to post to my Instagram story. And if you don't have an account yet, you'll see a sign up button in the top right hand corner. I'm already logged in, so there's a dashboard sign. After you sign up for an account, you land on the dashboard page. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to your account manager down here on the left sidebar. The account manager is where you'll connect all your social accounts. This video is purpose we're just going to be connecting our Instagram accounts so there's two different options here if you have an Instagram business account I would recommend connecting that also but currently Instagram doesn't allow posting to the story just from an Instagram business account connection so you're going to want to use the Instagram direct login accounts if you don't have an account connected yet you'll see the add account button here you can click that or you can click this plus icon in the top corner from there you'll just enter your username password and then where you want to get the verification code from Instagram Instagram will want to send you a verification code because you're going to be logging in through a new location, which is greatly social server location. So you get a code from Instagram that you'll type in there, then you'll be able to add your account. When your account is successfully connected, you can head over to the Instagram post page that can also be found on the left sidebar. Now from there, you'll see that your accounts are on the left side. So the first thing you're going to want to do is going to check off the box next to your username. Since we can only post to the store using the personal account connection, I'm going to check off that box. And then on the top here, we have these different options for different Instagram post types. We're going to select the story type. We can use the file manager to import a picture that's already in our storage. For example, I have many photos right here that are already in my storage that I might use. You have the option to upload directly from your computer import from your Google Drive or import from Dropbox. You also have some additional settings when it comes to Instagram and posting all around. You can actually schedule your Instagram stories. This will allow you to schedule as far out as you want. There's unlimited posts. This is a pretty cool feature if you're trying to stay active on your social feed. So if I wanted to schedule for say October 28th at 3 o'clock p.m. I will just go ahead and click schedule and you can see the post has successfully been scheduled. If you wanna see all your posts, there's a calendar page. We'll open that up. And I already have a bunch of posts already scheduled, but this post that I had just scheduled was for the 28th. I'll go ahead and show you that right here. Here's the post right here that I had scheduled to the story on the 28th. So that would be posted then. But if you wanna post it right now, you have the ability to do so also. You would just not click the schedule box and then you'll click post now. For this purpose, I'm not gonna post now because I've already posted a bunch of times to my story today, but this is how you you can post to your Instagram story from your computer. I hope this video helped. If you have any questions, feel free to leave any comments below. And thank you for watching the video.